Graphics are amazing! Okay guys, what is up? Video Game Jam Poop here with another video game playthrough. Uh, this time I'm gonna do the original Star Fox, aka Star Wing in Europe. Um, so yeah, this is the first ever Star Fox game. And I've not done a Star Fox game on my channel yet, so I thought we'll get started with the original Star Fox, aka Star Wing. So, um, this is being played off my SNES Classic, so not much news there. But anyways, um, and this is pretty much the first game that, for most people that know, that has 3D graphics uh, with the Super FX chip. So pretty much the first Super Nintendo game to use that chip, I think, uh, which later games used as well along with the second version, Super FX 2. Uh, and and quite a few other Super Nintendo games use uh, the Super FX chip for these gorgeous 3D graphics. Outstanding. Oh boy. And, uh... uh what else was I going to say? Uh, but yeah, but also... Pretty much the first, I think the first 3D game ever, I think, I don't know if it is, I might be wrong, but but it, uh, the first 3D game that most people know, uh, uh, so, anyways, here we go, uh, controls you have here, I prefer control B, now I haven't played this before all the way to the end, but I know it's basic anyway, it's not like, um, I don't think there's any like, oh, uh, you must um, uh, do this to finish it 100% or like there is a percent system, but it it's just for the amount of enemies you kill. And if you kill enough, then you get 100%. I've heard and I've looked that up. So uh, you can have training. Um, in fact, let's go with that to show it off. Okay, Fox. Let's see your real ability. We got to fly through all the wings! <laughs> I can believe Peppy has to test us. Hit start to go back to the game. Okay. So, so yeah, this is what the game is like for those who don't know. Uh, or for those who are, who are just introduced to my channel and haven't heard of this game before or anything else. If you haven't heard this game before, this is what it's like. Yeah. It's just 3D graphics. It may look slow because it's on the Super Nintendo, but still. Um, but yeah, this is 16-bit. It's not 32-bit. This is not the PlayStation or the N64 or any other 3D systems that are like polygons. Uh, no. This is the Super Nintendo. Follow me, Fox. Yeah, I think we'll just give up here. You get the idea. So we're gonna... we're gonna... Now controls obviously don't matter for you. Uh, I want to try and almost match it the same as Star Fox 2's controls. Uh, uh, slightly. There's only one difference though. The boost and brake buttons are the opposite in Star Fox 2 for some reason. I don't know why. And I can't change it. Like, I can change the controls in that game as well, but... You cannot customize them for some reason, which is weird. But I like those controls. Uh, I like having the blaster on the B button and then the bomb on the A button. Uh, let's uh, go ahead then. Now on this screen, you've got different levels. So you can choose either level one, level two, or level three. Uh, so the higher the level, the, diff the, the more difficult it is. Now, I'm going to have these videos, I think I'm going to do, like, each level 
represents different planets as well. And you always start in this first one we are now, Conaria. But the other ones, we clearly have Asteroid, Space, Ar Space Armada, uh, Media, and Venom. Like, Venom's the last one. On level 2, you also have Sector X, uh, Titania, and Sector Y. As well as a black hole there. I don't know what's that apart of, though. Here we go, a shooting star. Level 3 has Asteroid, but I'm guessing a more difficult version. Fortuna, uh, Sector Z, and Macbeth. And all, of, and all of these at the end is Venom, but I'm guessing a harder version. We'll start with level 1 for this video, and then the next video we'll do all level 2, and then the other video we'll do all level 3. Then we're done with Star Fox, of course, so... Let's go with, um, level 1. Uh, first off. Corneria, the base. Star Fox team. Our last resort is to counter-attack Venom. Good luck. Good luck. Oh, good luck. <laughs> is where it all started. I cannot tell what that Englishman said. He clearly said emergency at the beginning, but then the rest of his lines, you couldn't really hear it. No subtitles and all. All ships check in! Ready, Fox. Okay. Yeah, let's go! Yeah, we got other characters, so we you play as Fox, while the bird-like character is Falco, uh, the toad or frog-like character is Slippy, yeah, he is Slippy, and then the the rabbit or hare-like character is Peppy. Uh, did you see me? Uh, yes, I did. Oh, I think there was a ring there that I should have gone through. Oh, I think if you get these, yeah, you got the double lasers. Uh, the and I think the the next ones are the hyper lasers, I believe. There's only one difficult thing about this game, I think, and I think it's just, like, because of the graphics, you don't really know what things are enemies and such. Right. So, I don't think I'm gonna get every enemy. You're not getting away! Hey! He was mine! I don't care. Okay, uh, there, there we go. Hey, he was mine! What, you were trying to get him as well? And then if you collect these things, just more bombs, which you can use to kill a lot of enemies on screen, but of course I don't want to waste them, so I'm just gonna leave them on. And for some reason, there's no, there's no cursor, there's no reticle at all in this game, uh, uh, telling you where you're aiming and that. You have to guess. In this one, thankfully, thankfully, Star Fox 2 had that. Uh, same with 64. Uh, they had like a cursor or a reticle uh, to let you know where you where you're shooting at. But you can also have options to turn it off in Star Fox 2, I think. And it took damage. I knew it was. All right. Um... Bogey on my six. On your six, what's that? Mind your own business, Fox. Uh, I'm here to help. Oh, you can also break and speed, which you'll wanna you wanna break if enemies are behind you, basically. All right, there we go. Alright, here we go. Incoming enemy. Incoming enemy. It's this thing. Now, I believe that's the attack carrier. I don't know... I'm not going to know all of the names of the bosses for this game, unfortunately, but... But I think this is the attack carrier. And all you got to do when these things are open, you just shoot it. I'm just going to wait for these things to open. It doesn't matter what you get first. Shoot these things, and then you just shoot. Uh, then you just shoot the carrier itself, and that's how you beat it. There you go. 
comes to speed like that. It's slowing down there. There we go. We got it. All the ship's checking. So far, so good, good, good. Okay, okay, what's next? No sweat, Fox. And stage one is clear. This is also how you unlock uh, Star Fox 2 on your SNES Classic. Just beat the first stage of Corneria. I don't know if the level matters, but I've always done level 1 to unlock it. That's how you do it. Uh, now for Asteroid. And so far, I've not used save states at all. I think I'll try and use rewinds. Asteroid Belt. Andros's forces intend to build a base in this area. Destroy their rock crusher. Good luck. And Andros is the main villain of this game. Oh, and on, on the second stage, this time you do have a crosshair, and it's in first person mode. So, you can't see your actual R Wing, which is the vehicle you ride in this game. Uh, yeah, they're called the R Wing. Um, but at least you have a cursor here. So, I think. So, yeah, there is a cursor, but. It's not in the main mode. I keep forgetting about that for some reason. Yeah, there's only a reticle uh, in first person stages. Not in uh, third person. I think it's third person anyway. Get lost, you fiend! Yeah, thanks! Thanks for what? <laughs> yeah, because of their gibberish accent, there's no voice acting in this game. Nor in Star Fox 2. Uh, uh, although Star Fox 64 included voice acting, both English and Japanese, depending on the version. And uh, it's really good. It means 64 is probably the best game, alongside uh, Assault. Adventures, most people think good, but not that good. Uh, especially because not only was, not only was, uh, it's not like most Star Fox games too much, but it's also the last game Rare made for Nintendo consoles, so... Yeah, because they were having another project entirely. Hey, don't be so g g greedy. What? I'm not... I mean greedy. Hey, it's me, Slippy. What? I know it is. <laughs> Alright. We're just shooting a lot of enemies. We're killing a lot of enemies here. I don't know what these... I don't know what the benefits of the rings are when you go through them, but... Alright. Oh my god. Go through there. I think they're checkpoints, I'm not sure. Bogey on my six. Again, what is your six? Is it like your bottom or something? And if it is, I guess you slap your bottom six times. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> watch it, Fox. Like, I don't know if I can actually shoot my own partners. Because I know they can die from enemy attacks, but I don't know if I can actually shoot them and hurt them. Or if it does nothing to them. Because I know, I know it hurts them in Star Fox 64, but in this game, I don't know. Oh, this is the boss. I think that's the Meteor Crusher, it looks like it. Where you shoot these things around here, and then you just... And you just do that. Okay, there we go. Okay. Whoa, I was not... I was not expecting that. But luckily, we can rewind. I thought that was my all wing then. <laughs> oh wait, I thought I thought we were at the boss. Right, so I'll, I'll not save state. I'll just keep rewinding. All right, I was not expecting it to charge at me. and do a lot of damage as well. Right. 
Alright, it's gonna like charge at me. Yeah. Oh. We're just gonna keep shooting that. Oh, okay. I guess this is easy enough then. There we go. Oh, <sighs> boy. Like, I have still not played this game before. This is like my first time playing through the whole game. All ships check in. So far, so g -g good. Okay, what's next? No sweat, Fox. I, I don't know if their dialogue's gonna be the same. I have no idea. Because they're, they're like different in Star Fox 64. Like, 64 is pretty much the only Star Fox game I've finished. Oh, your score system's there. Oh, right. And a credit. I think that... Isn't that an extra life? Because my life count's still at two. And yes, there is a life count in this game. You do get game overs. And I think you have to start all at the beginning again. I don't know if that's true, though. Or if it's like... Or if you have to start... At the first part of the level and not for a checkpoint. I don't know. I don't know, anyway. Let's go to Space Armada. The Andros Space Armada. The Space Armada consists of powerful battleships. Destroy their energy cores. Okay. Oh, we're in first person again. Okay. So I thought it would be like, oh, third person, then first person, then third, then first, third, first, third, first. I thought it would be like that. It's like Star Fox 64 where, um, where not only your lasers would sound a bit different if you're in space levels or planet levels, which is like planet space, planet space, planet space. It's like, uh, not only they'll, not only your lasers will sound different, but they would also, but, but your, but the the fire at the back of the R wing will be will be like blue instead of orange, or is it red? I don't know. In space levels, um, uh, and in planet levels, it's orange. What you mean? What you mean, Fox? What am I trying to shoot you or something? If so, I'm sorry. All right. Um. I'll follow you in. Okay. You can do that. Oh, we go inside. Oh, there we go. Oh boy. I think here we gotta. Oh, what is this? Oh, are we invincible? I think we're invincible. And I think going through the, I think that's one of the cores. I don't know. The slowdown really hard. Oh, now we're in third person. Okay, it's changed now. Makes this easier. Like in Star Fox 64, you can change between third and first person. Right. 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 Want to get in there? I got it. Destroy that. Oh, I didn't destroy it. I guess I destroyed a bit of it. Alright. Let's head in. Okay. And I got that. Unless some of these are energy boosts. Could be that. Right, we clearly need to shoot some of the doors. Right, we took damage there, but I'm just gonna shoot these doors. Oh, we got bombs here. All right. We clearly need to shoot something. I think it's that thing there. I can't see. This is the polygons. <laughs> Like, you can't see because of the polygons, it's a bit difficult. I bet on a, I bet if you played this on an old TV, it would be a bit easier, because it was designed with those in mind, but this is a HD TV, and, uh, and a modern 
version of an old console, so... Well, the SNES Mini. Technically not a modern version, but still. Um, one of the modern ways to play it, but still. Then again, it could be the Super Nintendo. I have no idea. Okay, we're just gonna... Shoot that, there we go. As well as that, there we go. And... Right, this is the boss. Oh, it's shooting a lot. Do we... I'm not even taking damage. Okay. Oh, we fight a boss in here. Oh. It's hard to pay attention a bit. Especially with the graphics. Luckily, uh, I don't know if Star Fox 2 is easier than this. I don't know. Like, I know it's a, it's a different gameplay and such, but overall the same. And obviously Star Fox 64. Oh, I think shooting them uh, just changes the directions and you go further, then it goes up. Okay. I think that's what it is for some of these. Alright. Well, I can't move, so... Oh. It's like a cutscene. Okay, guys, I'm back. Okay, whoa. Wait, what are we fighting? Um. Hmm, that's weird. This is a complicated fight. I can't see. Alright, there we go, we can shoot them, at least. Like, shooting them is... What is this fight? It's, like, almost complicated. Oh, but we shot them all. Oh, and then I guess we shoot this thing. Well, the health is not a lot. Oh, okay. That was easy. And, is that it? We got good music. Oh my god! That was easy! And probably the shortest fight. Yeah, it seems like the dialogue's always gonna be the same, so. Oh! We almost got 100%. But again, I don't care if I get 100% or not. And I've not used any bombs. <laughs> That's weird. Alright. Alright, now we're in Meteor, or Meteor, <laughs> if you prefer, or if you prefer, Meteor, I don't know, the battle base Meteor, um, be sure to use your retros, retros, <laughs> if you're going too fast, be careful with my R-wings, alright, oh, it's another, oh, oh, I thought it was going to be, first person, but no, it's third person. Except the camera is close to the army for some reason. I don't know if it's meant to be or not. But clearly, there's a lot of enemies here. Bogey on my six. Uh, Alright, um, this could be trouble. Oh my god, I think someone hit Falco. Oh no. <sighs> Yeah, Falco is pretty much a funny character in Star Fox as well. Watch it, Fox. Like, in Star Fox 64, he's like almost rude a lot. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Well, at least he sounds rude in the. Star Fox 64. I don't know if he, if he actually is, though, but he does sound rude. 
<laughs> like, he sounds so rude. He sounds like he's rude. Oh my god. Alright, anyways, uh, this. Why did I hear the jingle two times? Or was it three times? I. I forgot. Like, did I get another thingy or something? I don't know. Oh, that's a ton I use those. There we go, we killed a bunch of enemies. Yeah, thanks! <laughs> what, for using the bomb? Okay. Alright, there's definitely a ring here. Like, I don't know what this ring does. It, it doesn't seem to do anything on my screen. Are there checkpoints or something? I think the checkpoints... What's this? Well, my health seems to have gone back a bit, unless those blue ones are for health, I don't know. Maybe you guys can let me know in the comments, unless unless I find out later. I don't know, because the game doesn't tell you. And there's no manual, there's no manuals on the Super Nintendo Mini, nor the NES Mini for its NES games. You have to, you have to like, scan a QR code to go to Nintendo's website to read manuals for each game. <laughs> Which is weird. Like, then again, the Wii Virtual Console and Wii U Virtual Console had manuals. Although Wii U takes you to a website uh, of the manuals, while the Wii has... Oh, we got enemies. What is that? I've never seen a boss like that before, but... Okay. Oh, there's that thing. Oh, God. Okay. It's not damaging it. Do I have to use bombs? Well, it took a bit of damage. It could be it needs bombs. Like, I don't know. Like, it's not taking a lot of damage. Oh, unless I... Oh, well, it's taking a lot of hits. I see it there. There could be bombs. Oh, I think it's the legs that have damage. Value, values. I don't know. Well, I'm dead anyway. <laughs> I can rewind. Alright. Cause I don't I don't see the health bar moving at all. Sometimes. seeing the health bar go. How does this thing get damaged? It could be its legs. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, I forgot. I could also button combination my controller with Hatchy installed. Okay. Alright. It's not doing anything. I guess I'll have to keep shooting. wing got flung off oh my god don't want that to happen yes that can happen during damage sometimes uh, so you got to be careful 
Right, I think my only guess is to use bombs. Then again, I saw the health move when it went on the floor. Could it be the legs? I don't know. Or do we just wait? Well, I'm dead. I have no idea then. I'm gonna look it up, guys. Okay, guys, I think how this works is I think if the legs are like, ooh, if, if, is it, if he's dancing like that, I think you shoot the legs then. Those legs. Then it seems to bring his health down. And I think you shoot his legs during when he's doing this as well. I think so anyway. I could run. Well, I died anyway. <sighs> but I think that's how you do it. Keep shooting. Right, there we go, we shot that. I didn't see the health. Okay. Oh, I've lost a wing! No! It's too hard, this. Oh my god, they home in on you. Are you serious? Almost impossible to dodge. Oh my god. Are you serious? I don't want my wing taken down because... And the timer counts when using the re... The re... The rewind as well. Seriously. Why does it do that? On. Shoot it, shoot it, shoot it. There we go. Shooting it a lot. Right, I think I saw the health, so. The other leg seems to be going down, so I think you shoot the legs. But then again, it looks tricky because, although it's easy to do, but it looks tricky because you don't know which leg you shot. Therefore, taking a lot of damage. Oh my god. How hard this is. Right, I think, yeah, there we go. Oh, there we go. We can shoot this now. Come on, keep shooting. There we go! Oh my god! We've got it, finally! Got it! We have beaten it! He's too hard! Right, so now I know when I play this game again one day. It's the legs we shoot. 88%. We got another credit. Oh, unless the credits are continues. I think they continues. Now we're in Venom. Not to be confused with uh, Marvel's Venom or, or like a plant or something. Whatever. Venom, the final goal. Andros is hiding on Venom. Fox, you must find his core brain and destroy it. Good luck. All right. We're in space, though. Oh, first person. Okay. Unless uh, we're, like, flying to Venom, I think. Okay. Great. Help me. Uh, hey, it's me, Slippy. Great. <laughs> Thanks for the save. Thanks for the save. Oh, I didn't notice. Oh, my God. Come on. Just gotta 
And yes, you can light uh, tilt uh, left and right with the shoulder buttons in first person mode as well. You just don't know if you are or not. Only the reticles tell you if you are or not. So, it's not really useful. Oh, why did I dodge that? Oh! Okay. Okay. Because I know there are better lasers to use in this game. But I don't know if I'm ever going to use them. Oh, that disguised me. Alright. Oh, I think I've got it. There we go. I have the much better beams now. I think it's the, I think it's called the hyper beam. I think it is. Or oh, hyper lasers, I mean, not beam. This is not Metroid. Um but yeah, the hyper lasers. I know in Star Fox 64 they are, and the lasers are blue instead of green, like the other ones are. Um but hyper lasers, they're like way better. And there's a lot of enemies. Oh my god. Tons of enemies. Jesus Christ. Okay. Alright. We got a boss. Oh, it's this thing. It's like a dragon. Oh, whoa. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna keep shooting it. Oh my god! We're taking him down easily. Oh. Oh my god, I think this is slightly tricky because you can't tell which one's which. You have to guess which one's which. Oh my god. Oh, we got him though! Okay, that was weird. Stage 5 clear. But we're not done yet, I don't think. Because I've still not seen this yet. Oh, 100%! Because we killed a lot of enemies. Right, stage 6, yeah, this is... Alright, so this is definitely what Venom is. Oh! Oh, it's a wall. Okay. I recognize this music, guys. From Smash Brothers. Yeah. So that's where the game... That's where it started from, because I've not heard the original version. Uh, okay. We'll go through these. Oh, they are health! They are for health. Yeah, I, I just saw my health there. It does refill your health. Okay. Uh, I want them. Okay. Oh, so close. Come on. Oh, that was the wrong way. No, ah, don't matter anyway. I still got my hyper beam. I mean, laser. This is not Metroid. Oh my god. It's lasers in this game, not beam. I guess they're pretty much the same thing anyway. Mind your business box? Uh, no. Uh, watch it, box. Watch it, box. Okay. Alright, I definitely need more health pickups. So these are important. Oh my god. And then there's sticks. Oh, okay. Doo -doo. All right. Oh my god, this is so tricky. All right, I'm pretty sure these are checkpoints. Right, there is a bomb there. I don't know if it does anything, though. There's another laser thing there. Oh, crap! 
That was lucky, though. That we're not losing a wing. If you lose a wing, it also downgrades your lasers. And you'll go all the way back to the single laser. Oh, it's this thing again. Oh my god. Wait a minute, what? Uh, okay. I just shot it. Oh, oh and then it turns into this thing, okay. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. Alright. We're like low on health. Alright. Alright, we're just gonna shoot it here. Oh, I should have got that. Oh my god, I'm almost out of health. Alright, get that. There we go. Fill my health, there we go. And I can pretty much mostly aim at this thing. What? That he does a ton of damage. Alright, so we just gotta... Alright, that worked. Okay. What? Oh, are you kidding me? I was trying to get that ring. Come on. God. Oh my god, right. Right, I need the ring here. Oh, I missed it. Can I get this one? There we go, yeah. Alright. He's almost dead, though. Oh, he kicked something at me. Oh, there we go. We shot it. There we go. We killed it. Oh. I don't know if you have to dodge them like I did, but... Oh, and that's where Andros is. Okay. Yeah, it is. Fox, you are indeed a worthy foe. But your foolish efforts are futile. I don't know what you mean by that. Oh, I was gonna. Right, we're too fast here. Your R wings, no chance against me. Right, I'm gonna save state here because this is the final boss. Well, for this level one, as anyway. And this is Andros. And I've not done this before, so it's my first time. But apparently, according to some videos, you just shoot his eye, you shoot his eyes, and then, and then you just break here when he's doing that when he's sucking. And then boom. Alright, I'm just gonna keep shooting his eye. Gotta dodge these. A lot of lag. Oh, and then when that eye's dead, we just shoot the other one. And apparently, shooting, he also sucks your lasers. <laughs> That's weird. Alright. Also, Andros is weird because in this game he's just like a polygon, and in later games he's like a he's like a disgusting like character. Ah, oh, goddammit. Oh, I'd just imagine if he took the R wing when he was dying. All right. Um. Oh, it is impossible to dodge. All right. God. Oh 
my god. Just gonna keep breaking. It seems easy to dodge. Oh my god, I think it's easy to dodge. Oh my god. Right, nearly dead. Oh, we got his eye. And then we just gotta shoot the box here. Oh, I killed it! I think I've beating it. Seems like we're going back. I think I've done it. Oh my god. Beating Star Fox for the first time, oh my god. Well, the... well, not really, but I mean... All ships check in. Ribbit, I'll bring you up the rear, Fox. I'm behind you, Fox. I'm with you, Fox. <laughs> and the text is overlined with the bomb icons. <laughs> so funny. Yeah, that is it. For Star Fox. Oh my god. Like, I actually haven't finished this game ever. But I've seen, like, videos of the final boss and that. And it looks easy. And it was clearly easy there. Although, obviously, a few deaths. But still. Right. Right, just... Alright. So that's our total. I don't know if the percents actually matter for, like, the ending or something. I don't know, but... Eh, it don't matter. At least we got 100%. Stage 6 is ace, uh, 83. Alright. I don't know if it matters if uh, about the percent, because it's just the amount of enemies you kill. It's similar to medals in 64. And I think later games as well. I don't know. 89%! <laughs> okay. Or it kind of looks like a B as well. Or is it B9%? <laughs> I don't know. I... Voice acting, I heard. Okay. I never knew the Super Nintendo could have too much voice acting. But still. Okay. Oh yeah, that is the attack carrier. Oh, right, so it will give us the boss names. Okay. So I guess that is Star Fox then. Well, the level one at least. Uh, I think that's the Meteor Crusher. It kind of reminds me of that from 64. Oh wait, no, Rock Crusher. But it's pretty similar. Okay. Alright, what's this thing? It's like a core. Alright. Atomic base. Okay. It even tells you the weapons they have. That's, that's cool. And the size. In a format, I don't know. The walker we have. Dancing in sector. Okay, that's what it is. That one's a bit hard. Then what is that? The free thing where you have to find the real one. I think it's finding the real one. The Fantron. Fantron. Okay. And obviously the last one's Andros, I believe. Oh, but then it's the transformation one first. Okay. Oh, Fantron again. Okay. And of course last one's Andros. If it shows up. Yeah, he does. And he's just going... <laughs> Yeah, Andros. Telekinesis? Telekinesis? What is that? I have no idea. I guess only the devs know. Okay! That is Star Fox.
So yeah, well of course I still gotta do level 2 and level 3 of Star Fox, so the harder stages, but... Still... Yeah, it's... Uh, my first experience for this game, uh, which is now... Amazing, actually. Like, I have not played this game ever. Well, like, I played like a bit of it, but I mean, I've not, I haven't finished it, so... So, yeah, uh, I've not even played through Star Fox 2 as well. Uh, so, which is the sequel, uh, or the cancelled, kind of cancelled game. And I say kind of cancelled because it was cancelled before, but then it got released again in 2017 on the Super Nintendo Classic, and don't dim the screen. All right. Okay. And yet the credits look amazing. Especially for the Super Nintendo. Like, I don't know how the Super FX chip was possible. It's like the, um... It's like uh, some chips in, like, the NES. Uh, was it the MMC? I think it was. Uh, like, the MMC1 chip, MMC2, MMC3. Uh, which enabled things like uh, diagonal scrolling, uh, more memory, uh, like, additional screens. Uh, so, like, one screen moves and then the other screen doesn't. It's like... But the Super FX chip enables 3D graphics on your Super Nintendo. So not just Star Fox uses it, uh, believe it or not, Yoshi's Island uses this as well. But I think it's only for, like, the intro of the game, and then the rest is just 2D, I think. Uh, of course, classic games like Doom Hat use it, and Wolfenstein 3D use it, and pretty much any game that's 3D on the Super Nintendo will use the Super FX chip. So, it's very awesome how they did it. And then some later games would come with the Super FX2 chip, and that's the end. Total score, and the average score. Oh. Okay. What can we do on this screen? Can we press anything or not, or do we have to wait for a bit? Uh, nothing's happening, it doesn't seem like. Uh, and I think it's softlocks. I think it's off flux. And it crashed. I think that's it then. So so that'll be it for this video, guys. Uh, the next video will tackle on level 2 for Star Fox. So the, the second uh, difficulty. And then after that we'll do the last one, which is level 3. Which is the hardest one. I don't know if there's I don't know if you have to go through more planets though. I don't know if it's that or not. But anyways, uh, video game jam about. I'll see you guys next time. See you guys next time. Take care, guys. Bye.